John Real Casemiro. The last time he was in the UK, he beat Charlie Edwards. He knocked him out. He'll be looking to knock you out as well. What are you going to do to stop him? I'm going to break him. Tatlong buwan matapos ang kanyang matagumpay na pagdepensa ng kanyang WBO Interim World Bantamweight title laban kay Cesar Ramirez ng Mexico. Oh, down! It's down! It's down! And I think it's out! It's over! That's it! That's it. Oh, what a well, we knew it was beautiful happen. ending to this fight! Nobyembre ng taong 2019, nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng tinaguriang kwadro alas ng Philippine Boxing na si Jan Real Casemiro na mapalaban sa isang pandaigdigang kampiyonato. Kung saan sinagu pa nito ang palaban na South African fighter at noong ikasalukuyang WBO Bantamweight Champion na si Sulane Dallas Bontete. Ang buksingerong may hawak ng record sa may pinakamabilis na knockout win sa isang world title. Nang patulugin nito ang kapwa South African fighter na si Sibuniso Gonya sa loob lamang na labing isang segundo. Isang dating two-weight class world champion, isa si Tete sa mga ikinong konsiderang pinakamahusay na buksingero ng South Africa kasunod ni Morote M. Talani na kanyang kababayan. At sa katunayan hindi na bago ang kanyang pangalan sa mundo ng pakikipaglaban. Dahil bago pa makasagupa ni Casimero si Tete Limang Pinoy na ang tinalo nito sa laban. Kung saan huli nitong binigo by a 12 round unanimous decision ang Pinoy na si King Arthur Villanueva para sa WBO Interim World Bantamweight title. Zorane, Tete! Kaya naman ganun na lang kakumpiyansa ang kampo ng South African champion na madali lang tatalunin ni Tete si Casimero. At tila ba pandagdag na lang sa mga Pinoy na tinalo ni Tete ang laban nito sa ating pambato. Dahil ayon mismo kay Frank Warren ng Queensberry Promotions na tumatayong handler ng South African champion, ikinakasana ang malaking laban ni Tete kay Inoue kahit wala pang ang katiyakan na siguradong ang tatalunin ni Tete si Casimero. Isa itong direktang pangiinsulto sa isang Pinoy fighter. Na tila ba tinanggalan na ng karapatan si Casimero na makasungkit ng mas malaking laban? I'm what, disrespected when they, all this talk about other fights? Kapalagay mo daw ba, wala siyang respeto sa'yo kasi ang sinasabi at sinasabi ng lahat eh, siya ang lalaban kay Inoy, parang naninigurado na. Parang ayaw niya nang lalaban sa akin kasi gusto for, niya nang lalaban kay Inoy. For, for him, he's talking Pero, about Inoy because he really hates to face him. He just pwedeng, wants to jump the gun and yeah, go to Inoy instead of passing to him. Agad kay Inoue, dapat But he cannot do that. He dapat. is here. He, he believes he is here to upset in uh, that plan of fighting Inoue. Ang harap na siya na lalaban kay Inoue. He's already dreaming of Inoue when in fact he has to really deal with reality. Jan Real Casimero. Dito sa akin lalaban, dito siya mababagsak. Ang laban ay naganap sa kilalang arena Birmingham West Midlands sa United Kingdom. Para sa ikatlong pagdepensa ng South African champion, ng kanyang World Boxing Organization World Bantamweight title. He is a banger and he is most definitely here thinking and believing that he can defeat this brilliant South African. Round 1 maagang hinanapan ng butas ni Casimero ang depensa ng kalmadong South African champion. Pero gaya ng mga naunang payag ni Tete bago ang naturang laban hindi agad kinagat ni Tete ang anumang mapanghamong atake ni Casimero. Gamit ang kanyang height at reach advantage, Maagang nakontrol ni Tete ang tempo ng kanilang bakpakan. Foot whipping that jab out. Not shortening the gap. Tete, tremendous athlete. Stands 5 foot 9. Only weighed 8 stone 4. He wants the brilliant Japanese fighter Noya Inui, who beat Nanito Donaire in that terrific fight, what was it, three weeks ago. Oh. It should, could have been Tete in the final, had he been able to beat Donaire. But he pulled out of that super series with a shoulder injury last year. It was that fight last October, yeah. and that was that sort of fight, wasn't it? He won by about a four or five point margin, but he he never really took any risks at all. If he can be effective, or if Teddy can read it, and like, as we said earlier, whip that uppercut in, in the, in the, on the target. Sean Gibbons representing the little master over here. 
he's the chief executive officer or something of uh, Pacquiao Promotions. Or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a significant <laughs> job, you know. President, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure which it was. Again, Casemiro got too much experience just to rush in because he knows he'll walk onto shots. But also, with him not doing that, means he's not being remotely effective. Tete just looks huge in comparison to Casemiro, which this is a little bit at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, and again, Casemiro's trying to trying to attack, but oh, short little right hand there. I thought it was half a head as well. Two rounds gone. How have you scored them both? Sa pag-aakalang kontrolado niya ang galaw ng Pinoy Challenger sa kanilang laban at inisip na siguradong mahihirapan lang si Casemiro na makapasok sa depensa ng nagdidepensang South African champion. Tila ba nakalimutan ni Tete na hindi sa lahat ng oras ay kanyang pigilan ang tumitiyempong atake ni Casemiro. Dito nagugulatin ng ating pambato ang mundo ng bantamweight division. Nang matikman ni Tete ang nakakahilong suntok ni Casemiro na siyang tumuldok sa kanyang labindalawang sunod na panalo. He's won his last 12 since September 2012. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a bot now. He's getting hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimiro take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimiro miss. Casimiro needs to pick his punches and he can't find a clean shot and he falls down Tete. I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not down recovered from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zolani Tete stopped by John Riel Casimero of the Philippines, and the big South African favourite suffers a defeat which was simply not expected, no way. Ang panalong ito ni Casimero ang nagbigay sa kanya ng World Boxing Organization World Bantamweight title. Ito rin ang panalong nagduklok sa angas ng Pinas bilang ikaapat na buksingero ng Pilipinas na nagkampiyon sa tatlong magkakaibang weight division. Kasunod ng ipapangbigating buksingerong tulad ni Nadoni Aas Nietes, Nonito Donaire, at Manny Pacquiao na tanging buksingero sa buong mundo na may 8 division world titles. Kasunod ng kanyang matagumpay na pagkapanalo, patuloy pa rin ang angas ng Pinas sa paghamon sa numero unong buksingero ng bantamweight na si Naoya Inoue ng Japan na magpasa hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin tugon sa hamon ni Casimero. Inoue! Yes. You're a the real monster, Inoue. baby! The real Come on, man! You're a monster! Motherfucker! Na pinatunayan na ang kanyang angas ay hindi lang puro salita, kundi siguradong mararamdaman ng sino mang babangga dito. And new WBO! Bantamweight champion of the world, Jean-Riel Cuadro Alas Casimero!